Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by. What I want to talk about today, I want to talk about step four in Alcoholics Anonymous. Made a searching fearless immoral inventory of ourselves. And the reason I want to talk about it, because I think a lot of us get bogged down or stuck when it comes to doing this step. This step can be very overwhelming to people and very, very intimidating. I feel there's two slogans that do apply to everyone when they're doing a step four. The first one is easy does it, but do it. Like I said, the step four can be very overwhelming and people may feel intimidated by doing it. If it's bringing up emotions that you're not comfortable with or old events in your head that you're not sure of or you're feeling uneasy about, just put the pen down or the the pencil down and just step back a little bit but don't give up on doing it the second one is like I said is keep it simple there's a lot of ways of doing a fourth step when I did my fourth step they were giving me handouts little booklets and inventory like crazy ever since I was like a little baby I don't know what the hell they're doing but I felt very overwhelmed when doing a, a fourth step I talked to somebody in a group one time at a and an AA meeting, and this person told me, Terry, why don't you just do it the exact same way they do it in the big book? And in the big book, it's really laid out simplistically well. Because the way they do it is exactly like this. They write a column, first column, of who I resent. So you put down who you resent. The second column you put down is what happened to make you resent them. And the third column is how it affected you as a person. You put that down. I always had a problem with that, that last column because I wasn't sure of my emotions and I wasn't sure the way I was thinking, but I did it the best I could. And I always say it took me two years to get the courage up to do it and 45 minutes to write it. It was amazing to do because I was so afraid of doing it and I held back so much to do it that when I actually did it, I said to myself, what the hell was I so afraid of? This was so easy. When I put the pen to paper, it just flowed out. It's like those resentments were right at the surface and I just wrote them down and I remembered what happened and how I felt and I just kept going. And I, I think I wrote about 40 or 50 out in about 45 minutes, believe it or not. And at that very moment, I started to cry and I, and I felt so, a sense of emotional relief. And writing it on a piece of paper or in a book similar to this is very liberating too because when you write it down, you can read it back to yourself and look at it so it reinforces those resentments that they are real and that they are really affecting you. I put down people that I stole from. I put down my mother, my father, school teachers. Also, what I found that I resented myself a lot. I had a lot of self anger. I put that down and I put down why and how I felt about that at the end. Well, obviously how I felt was I resentful at myself. But it was very liberating to do. But the main thing about a step four is that we need to do it. We need to do it. Like me, if your handwriting's no good or your spelling's no good, just do it anyways because you're the only one that really sees it. You're the only one that has to read it back. But it's the first step of action in 12-step recovery program of Alcoholics Anonymous. The first three steps are kind of like just thinking steps. You know, step one, we have to get honest. Step two, we have to have an op create an open mind, get an open mind. Step three, create the willingness. But step four, we have to get off our butts and start doing some work for our recovery. Doing an inventory is a part of the house cleaning that starts rebuilding our recovery life. It's a fantastic step to do. It's a step that made me feel that I belong in recovery more. As painful as it was, as many tears as I had from it, it did give me some hope that I wasn't going totally crazy. And I think by the effect of writing it down for I could see it, and it kind of released the energy from my body, started to release those resentments and those negative thoughts I had about people placing things about me. But I understand why people get intimidated, feel anxiety, and get bogged down from it. 
because it is overwhelming, but it's not impossible to do. Just take it minute by minute. I suggest, like I said earlier, to do it the exact same way that is done in the big book. It's very simple, it's very simplistic. Talk to your sponsor, get a big book, read about it, go on the internet, there's tons of information about it. Keep it simple, easy does it, but do it. You will feel great. And another one I like to start off, say before I finish the video, it doesn't matter how petty you think the resentment is or how far back that resentment goes or that event goes that you cause harm to somebody or somebody cause harm to you. It doesn't matter how far back you go. Write it down because if you're remembering it, if you're thinking it, you're reliving it, it is still very current within you. So write it down. And if your resentment feels petty, write it down because I was embarrassed a little bit to talk about things that I resented, but it's okay to do that. The house cleaning must be thorough. And the most important thing is be as honest and frank as you can with yourself and with the person you do your fifth step with. But I'm not gonna talk about the fifth step because this is about the fourth step, okay? So I hope I cleared it up. And myself, I had a little bit of reading problems in that and I was kind of embarrassed about showing my fourth step to anybody. So I just read it to the person when I did my fifth, okay? I hope you found this video interesting or least helpful. If you did, please leave a comment below. If you didn't, leave a comment below. But can you all do me one favor? Can you please subscribe to my channel? I really appreciate it. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time, okay? Thanks for watching my video. Stay safe, stay sober. Ciao for now, over and out, and God bless. Thank you very much, bye-bye.